Hey guys, so today I'm here to talk about boots, specifically the Arma by Shires Air Motion Brushing Boots. I acquired these, I bought them myself um, through Dober, but you can actually get them cheaper on Chewy uh, a couple months ago. Um, as you can see, mine had some wear and stuff. I should unbind them. But I, what's funny is in my last video of me riding, I don't have boots on, but because every now and then I like to take them off and just see how my horses are moving without them, or horse now. But I have them in a size cob, which honestly, uh, I think Shires runs a little bit big, but um, yeah. So these are Cobb. I have ordered a back set and horse for her hinds because, uh, spoiler alert, I like these. I really like them. Um, they, I like how they have the inner strike pad and I love the material they're made out of. It's like this mesh material that really keeps the legs cool. I have yet to find any sweat when using these. Um, and I feel like, yeah, I just like this material. A lot of brushing boots are made out of neoprene and those tend to trap heat. And if I'm gonna use a boot, I want something that's gonna be as good as possible to not trap heat. Because as we all know, heat, causes a lot of issues. Um, heat is actually, it is seen that uh, you should probably ice or at least hose down your horse's legs after using boots because the heat caused by boots can create issues later. So I'm actually looking into ice boots, but for now I just to hose her legs down cold water after I use them. Yeah, so I really like these. These have been great boots for me. I love the lightweight of them. I like the inner padding and I the strike pad. It's not one that's like too stiff because I found on some of them they can be fairly stiff. Um, I've had brushing boots over the years as far as these have been my favorites so far um i just again with the neoprene ones i don't like how much heat causes so like if i'm going to invest in a boot it's usually going to be something that's a little bit more mesh material or has high ventilation sorry about the birds they are obnoxious and cheap just, they never stop, it's a barn, what do you expect? But, and ET seems to like them too. So, like I said, these are the cobs and I'm gonna show you them on her in a moment. Uh, this video is probably gonna be filmed in two parts because I want to, I'm gonna wait to post this until I have the horse size for her back to just kind of compare and all of that because these they fit around fine but they just weren't tall enough so because she's literally just a smidge under 16 hands so she's basically 16 hands and she's got she's got okay bone on her I think the thoroughbred definitely comes out <laughs> through her legs a little bit because she is an appendix of uh, weird voice crack but she's an appendix, so she's, her daddy was a quarter horse, her mama was a thoroughbred. So, she's, she's big and thick, but in her fronts at least, she can be a little, a little bit little. So, I'm going to go ahead and toss these on and show you guys them on. So here's Missy T with the boots on. So, as you can see, this cob 
fits her very well lengthwise, but on the backs, they're definitely too short. Um, and they fit over like this. But I quite like them. You can see kind of lightly where she's hit herself with them on, which is one of the reasons I got boots, because prevention is better than cure. Uh, much rather prevent a leg issue than have to fix one. But I like these a lot, and I especially like that as like they move, this is a little bit flexy. Here's Miss E.T. with the boots on. She just got her feet done today, so figured it was a good day to show this stuff. Um, and I'm about to lunge her. So she needed her boots on anyway. As you can see, you can see the Arma air motion. Have Arma on the inner strike pad. You can see a little bit of wear from where she's likely hit herself. She is also one that um, I'm probably gonna put bell boots on her in a second, because she overreaches sometimes with her back foot and will clip here and you can hear her click clack. We call it her click clacking. So if you ever hear her click clacking, that's her click clacking. Um, here we are from the other side. As you can see, the cob fits her really well in the front, but would obviously be too small height wise for her backs. So if you have like a skinnier legged thoroughbred or um, just your horse might be tall, but their legs are a little bit on the, like, the smaller side, I would definitely go with a cob over the horse size. Um, and then you'll probably need the horse size in the back. I know on Shires, it has like 14 two hands to 15 two hands, well, she's like 15 three and seven eighths, basically, back when we got her measured when I was in 4-H. And these are what fit well on her. And she's even got some like pretty good bone. As you can see, like, there's not a lot of overlapping here, but it's like just enough to where it fully closes. So, I would, so Cobb is a good fit for her on her backs. But if I were to put them, which I did, when I first got them, I put them on her backs just to see sizing. And I was like, yeah, you, you definitely need a horse size. So, there she is. She's, she's, she's a sleepy mama. So here she is before our hack. Got all four boots on. The backs came in. So I'm going to put them to the desk today and take her out on a hack. Ready, E.T.? Gonna get you nice and sweaty. See that how they hold up. It has rained a little bit the past couple days, so we might encounter some mud. But I figured that can just test how they clean up. There's the front again, the backs. Still really like them. As you can see, I've ridden in them once just in the arena to make sure they fit well. So here Miss E.T. is after our hack. As you can see, she is very sweaty. You can see where we collected some seeds. Um, she's not as sweaty back here. Usually she'll, if it's a really hot day, she'll start getting ripples. Um, but she was really good, other than strong in a couple parts. Took one of the jumps really big. Uh, <laughs> that was a bit 
crazy, but she did really well. Um, but here are the boots. So, uh, she is still kind of huffy puffy, so I'm probably gonna hand graze her and walk her after this before spraying her off. But I want to show you guys the boots right after. And also, I like tucking, so got a little bit of stuff in there. And there's definitely a little bit of sweat on her legs, but her legs aren't nearly as hot as I found with neoprene. So as you can see, a little bit, a little bit of stuff. That's inevitable with a lot of boots. Probably could have put those on tighter. But again, like I'm not feeling the heat I normally would with neoprene. So as you can see, we did get into a little bit of mud. So I'll probably include a clip of me cleaning these off. Uh, and yes, I tack and untack on my truck because I'm weird. Yeah. Definitely not as much heat, especially around the tendons, as with a lot of neoprenes I use. I have used. So I really like these. Um, they've held up well so far, and I've been using them pretty consistently. I only got a little bit of dirt. They don't really... Dirt doesn't really cling to them, which I really like as well. So I think if Shire's ever made a... Um, white pair for like competition for like dressage and stuff that'd be really cool if they could make a sport boot like this I feel like the western people would love it oh, I need to these. Oh, one handed I need to go pro so I can show you us hacking out next time That involves money. So. Yes, here she is. I'm going to get her sprayed off. Let her hand graze a bit. And put her away for the night. Because it is getting dark out. Huh. You want to eat and finish your dinner? I kind of took her away from her dinner a little early. Because I didn't want her to have too much energy. You get the rest of your dinner now after you cool down a bit more. <laughs>